I left my speech at the right next to my son. Would you please bring it in? <laughs> this has been quite a morning for me. I said, this has been quite a morning for me, so you will have to bear with me. Today, Jerry Getz, who represents Pan Florida, is here to speak about the importance of power packs and the positive impact that nutritious, week, nutritious weekend of food has on our children who are hungry. Many, many children fall into this category, and their families are dependent on others to help their children thrive and grow. There is a large percentage of children at Lely Press Elementary School who qualify for this subsidy. And believe it or not, there are people in Naples that need food. LCMO works to assist others who need help. You and the Laley Presbyterian family are the helpers who spread this hope and love. You are very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With prayers and generosity, it is wonderful to be able to make a difference in their lives. Thank you for opening your hearts to caring. Thank you for sharing food and hope with our neighborhood children. Thank you for supporting Power Pack. Now I'd like to introduce Jerry Getz, who is the head of the Power Pack program. <coughs> Jerry, thank you for coming here. And she's got a few words to say, and then I, I'm not through yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for the kind introduction. I usually come telling a lot of statistics, but I thought today I'd share a story with you about a student who is no longer on the Power Pack program and the impact you all, we all, have had on her life. Her name is Juliana. The first thing Juliana said to me is, I want more for myself. Juliana is a first-generation American born to a Bahamian father and a Haitian mother. Her dad works in construction, and her mom is a cook and deli worker at Walmart. In her elementary school years, Jules remembers hopping from house to house after her dad lost his job. The family lived in difficult situations, frequently without cable and internet, often without enough food to feed the seven-member household. At a young age, Jules had to learn to manage on her own and to live without, including struggling with hunger. In the second grade, Jewel saw students going home with weekend backpack meals, and she was jealous of those kids. Shortly thereafter, Jules joined the Pan Florida Challenge Power Pack program. She remembers eating the food on her own over the weekends while her parents were at work. I had to fend for myself, she said. She especially enjoyed the peanut butter. I'm ashamed to admit that I didn't share my power pack with my younger brother. The food got me through the weekends where I felt the absence of my parents while they were at work. It really helped, she said. Now the good part. Jules is currently a junior at Laley High School, right down the street, where she serves as secretary of Key Club, plays basketball, and is a member of junior ROTC, where she may commit after college. She wants to double major in engineering and finance. She plans to apply to Harvard, Columbia, MIT, Texas A&M, Stanford, and Yale. Jules shares, it takes a huge supportive village and my pathway to success is education. Jules has earned a 4.7 weighted GPA and hopes to be named Laley's valedictorian next year. She is active conference goer, participating in DECA, I believe that's her speech. Florida State Science Fair, Key Club District Convention, where she is right now, or I would have brought her today. Rotary Youth Leadership Convention, and is a Florida STEM scholar candidate. Jules has conducted several independent research projects pairing her interest in STEM and wanting to help solve societal issues like water contamination, the Great Black Migration, COVID, Right to Repair Act, and affordable housing. She earned $500 for her most recent project using geographical information systems to map water contamination in Lee County. 
Jules has been touched by many organizations in addition to Pan Florida Challenge. She attended the Boys and Girls Club after school program and participated in their dance company. Jules periodically returns to the club as a volunteer. Since eighth grade, she has been paired with a mentor from Champions for Learning Take Stock in Children program. She said, Leonora is like a best friend. She gives great advice, is a good listener, and supports me no matter what. For the past two years, Jules has worked part-time at a solar company, coding, designing web pages, conducting data analysis, and entering data. Jules shared, my life has been like trekking through murky waters. I've achieved with the help of others. I'm excited for the future. My motto is one step at a time with a smile. And I say to her, keep smiling, Jules. The world is yours to discover, and we all want more for you too. Thank you for your support. I told you I wasn't through yet. <laughs> now the good part. Jerry, it is with a great deal of prayers, pleasure that we give you this check for $6,321.20. Thank you, Jerry. That's quite a story. Yeah, yeah.